So everyone wants to know what to do to get a job as an insurance adjuster. Well, after working with many hiring managers in the industry, let me tell you what I know and give you some tips on what to focus on when you're starting your adjusting career. Number one, you have to strengthen your resume. So you naturally want to tailor your resume to your adjusting skills, but what if you don't have any adjusting experience? Well, what you want to do is focus your resume on any customer service, time management, and organization skills. So if you had any jobs where you had to service some customers, or you had to manage your time really well, you want to use those jobs to put them on your resume. As a claims adjuster, you need excellent time management skills, and you need to provide exceptional customer service. Another way to beef up your resume is through insurance industry designations provided by the institutes. These industry designations show that you have a general knowledge about claims and the insurance industry. And a good one to start with is the AIC, or the Associate in Claims. Another designation to earn would be the Xactimate Level 1, 2, or 3 designation, which will show that you're familiar with the estimating software. Number two, you want to get your drone license. The drone license, which is called the FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Certification, is one that I would recommend possibly getting in the near future. I've been around multiple managers and multiple company executives that have already signed agreements with drone companies. Since insurance companies are already using this technology, you want to be certified so that you're picked up to be able to perform these type of inspections. Number three, you want to get hired on as a customer service rep to gain some industry experience. Getting hired on as a customer service rep can provide you with a lot of experience and get you familiar with the insurance company's terms, processes, and procedures. I personally know quite a few dozen people that have gone from a customer service rep to a claims adjuster and a couple companies that I've worked for. And this is all because they've gained experience in the call center, learned a lot about the claims adjuster lingo, their policies and procedures, and that was able to help them to transfer into a claims adjuster type role. Some companies, when there's a large storm or a catastrophe event, they will give additional non-licensed adjusting duties to some customer service reps. And that's a good way to get some experience to put on your resume. Working as a customer service rep in an insurance company or in an independent adjusting firm is a good way to get first dibs on staff adjuster jobs or positions and also to build relationships with managers in the insurance industry. A lot of independent adjusters leave their current positions for either better offers or they're just too burnt out to continue. So being a customer service rep can give you first access to a lot of those adjuster jobs. These are just some tips to help you with your job search and becoming an insurance adjuster. If you liked the video and you found it informative, share it with somebody who can use the help. Subscribe to the channel and thank you for allowing the insurance quotient to keep you informed.